Okay, so the final exam, uh, seven problems, one per, per chapter. So let's look at chapter one. Uh, there wasn't much in chapter one. There, look at the next problem. There definitely was these um, change in pressure with height, these manometers, um, those hydraulic lifts. Uh, look back at those problems. Uh, but one thing was just was just units, uh, units. And so I think that's what this problem is. Um, all right, we've got a four kilowatt resistance heater. Uh, that runs for three hours. All right, so that's a four kilowatt resistance heater that runs for three hours to determine the amount of electric energy used in kilowatt hours, kilojoules, and BTUs. So really, this is just a unit problem. Uh, kilowatt running for three hours. So even if you didn't really know, um, you know, but this is a power, this is a time, um, the units just to show you what to do, right? Four kilowatts running for three hours. It's 12 kilowatt hours, okay? But we also want kilojoules. Now, you know that kilowatt is kilojoule per second times hours. Uh, so let's look at these units here. Uh, 12 kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is the same thing as a kilojoule per second hour. So if we want to get rid of hours and seconds, one hour, 3,600 seconds, this would be 43,200 kilojoules. 43,200 kilojoules. Um, and then it also says BTU. So let's convert 43... 200 kilojoules to, uh, maybe if I'm lucky I could find just a kilojoule to BTU on our unit conversion sheet. Uh, a kilojoule BTU would be in, well, here's one right here. I think I can already see it. Um, but maybe it's in energy as well. Yeah, right there. Or, or there. Either either one of these um, conversions right there, yeah. All right, so let's go back to final exam review. Let's see. I've got 1 BTU, 1.055 kilojoules, 40,948 BTU. 40,948 BTU. So um, it might be a... It, Problem number one might just be a unit problem. If it's a unit problem, it might be a little bit harder than that, right? Might have to use that unit convergence sheet a little bit more. Uh, you know, sometimes even in these problems, you need that unit conversion sheet. I mean, I, units are throughout this whole class. Uh, so units, units, units are important. Uh, so anyway, there, there's that one. Be sure to look at this one. Make sure you, you understand uh, whether it's asking for gauge pressure or absolute pressure. Then just be careful, you know, you're going from one to two, from here to there, there to there. Uh, be careful, make sure you're using the right height. Uh, densities, make sure you understand specific gravity, right? Specific gravity, you multiply that times the density of water. Uh, and then units, and then units, I think this comes out to PA, a kilogram, meter per second squared, meter. That comes out to PA. Uh, not KPA. All right, so problem number one will be a short 10-point problem. Don't spend too much time on it.